Hey guys, we're back with part two. Like I said, I'm sorry it's been this long, guys, but it's the way it's gotta be. Um, I can actually keep up to date with them now. So, guys, I'm just showing you but it's right here. Say hey, baby. What are you doing? Mama's girl. Um, I thought I'd show you her because I didn't show you in part one. <laughs> now she wants my attention. Um, so guys, we're back with the 2nd of March 2018, um, I got up and I decided that I was going to play in the snow. I was going to play in the snow, yeah, me, I don't care how old I am, I don't give a shit, I'm going to play in that snow, it's out there, I'm going to play in it. So let me tell you the worst bit about the snow, now normal snow, you can pull it together and you can make a snowman. This snow, guys, you could not make a snowman. You could not put it together. It was like a crumbly, um, powdery snow. Um, so no matter what happened, it would not stay together. So you couldn't build a snowman. That was the only bad point. Um, and obviously the blizzard we were having, that was the worst bit. Um, so I decided to dig the snow up. I got it off the top tub for my mom. Um, and away from the electric box to the hot tub. Um, baby, you okay? Okay, um, so yeah, and I done that, and I made a path all the way around the deck in, I moved it off the deck in, and I made a path to the main road bit, um, so it was a lovely little path, um, so basically we were stuck on the site, we had red warnings, and it, so the red warnings were the point that it was advised on the news, guys, so let me tell you guys, if you don't know, I was in Devon. Um, and we had red warnings and Barnstable where I'm at the moment in my homes, it was fine, there was nothing wrong. Where my mum is in Oakhampton, that's the red warning bit. So, um, where did my, oh, <laughs> um, so there was red warnings to the point it was like, do not go out unless it is essential, um, do not travel, do not do it at all, do not leave your home. So, that's what we did we didn't leave we i just played in the snow um we walked rosewood um and that um up on the high pit you could barely see in front of you like the blizzard was so bad and um, the way the snow was coming down um yeah let me tell you about these people like rosewood was off her lead um, Lola was on a long lead because Lola can never be let off the lead because Lola, if Lola sees a sheep or something like a bird or a rabbit that she wants, she will just go. She has the hunting instincts. Like Rosewood, I saw her hunting, but she's a, like I've never trained her to do that. I've always trained her to be an assistant dog to help me. So their instincts don't like. She'll still have that natural bit, but I remember the last time she tried getting a bird, she didn't even hurt it. She just holded it. And then he kept going again. I'm like, the bird's hurt. Please kill it, Rosebud. So she couldn't even kill a bird. So, but Lola, um, she's still got that pack hunting instincts because she's an Akita. Oh, yes, baby. I'm talking about you. Give me five. High five. High five. Oh, high five. Good girl, baby. Are oh, you mama's girl? Kiss. So. Um, let me put you guys back here. So, um, my oh baby. <laughs> go on in, go over there. Good girl. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Look at this. Oh, baby, I'm fine. No, I'm fine. Honestly, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> oh. Go on in, go to bed. 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 She stops when you say bed. <laughs> um. Oh, you really want to keep me in your paw still? Right, I have to do this, guy. Otherwise, we won't keep on track, okay? So, we've got a time about beautiful days. Right, so, let me just put this back up. I don't know what's going on right now. Um, with my stick. Um. Oh, geez, thanks, Rosebud. I've always needed a shower. Um, 
so basically we were walking around we could barely see in front of us i was out with my mom i'm trying to do this right i was out with my mom and um we were walking lola and rosebud and i mean literally here's lola and here's rosebud like walking by her and these two people you got to see this this is so cute <laughs> <laughs> Are you showing everyone, baby? Watch, I move my hand and I pull it back here. And she puts her paws back on. And then every time I move my hand and I pull it back here, she keeps pulling her paws and wanting to lick me. I love you. I love you so much. Go on. Go to bed. So she's lining it up. But, Mom, I really want you. Kiss. <laughs> I love you too, gorgeous. Right, let me get this done, okay? I don't want to be in the camera. There. Um, so, guys. Let's get this done. Um, okay, right. I don't need any more baths. Bed. Uh, bed. Go on. Get to bed. Good girl. Right. So, literally, guys, like, Rosebuddy's here by Lola because they can stick together. Um, so... We're literally walking around and these people, they didn't even stop. Like, my mum thought the excuse was going to be Rose was off a lead because you're supposed to have more leads on the site. Um, but at the end of the day, Rose was, was like literally by Lola. They nearly hit Lola that was on a lead and this big dog, how'd you miss it? And my mum's like, did they just not see us? Like, literally, they didn't even bother. Like, say here's the path, like where we are. There was this other bit of path here, like the road, basically, um, that they could have gone along. But no, here's us, and here's the car, like, and they didn't bother moving over the slightest bit. Um, oh, baby. Um, the slightest bit. So then, they, like, my mom had to literally grab Lola out of the way, like, proper pull her, and, like, get her foot. Like, guys, don't take this animal cruelty. Like, before you even take it, it's nothing like that. Literally, my mom didn't put her foot there. Rosebud could have gone under the wheel at this point. So, Rosebud, come here. So, literally, I'm going to show you guys what my mom done with her foot. So, say Rose was on the floor, my mom literally just pushed her out of the way like this. Not boot her, just push her with her foot gently to move her out of the way from going under the car. Um, because she could have gone under the wheel and she basically saved her life. So, thanks, Mum. Um, so, yeah. Um, then... Um, I did a lot of walking that day. I played in a lot of snow, but to clean it up. Um, I had a shower. I chilled for the rest of the night, and we watched some movies and played tombola. So that's what I did that guy day, guys. Um, on the third of March, two thousand eighteen, today, um. Today we were out of the warning zone, so we're not in red zone anymore, guys. We were actually... Oh, my life. My character's knee fell on the floor, guys. I had to catch that. Um, so we were out of the warning zone. Um, we watched TV. I won all my money back I spent on Tombola. Um, today's the day I got to go home, so basically my mum got me to Winkley, and from Winkley, um, Sammy's partner took me back to Barnstable where he was going anyway to drop his kid off, um, to his, her mum's. Um, so we got my stuff together, and we met Sammy's partner at Wind and Down, and from there, Sammy and the partner brought me back. Um, then my brother took me shopping because I had nothing in. Um, just before I carry on, guys. Um, um, as you guys know, I've been bidding on properties. Um, so I've been bidding on properties and I was first on a Winkley property. Um, and when I was first on this Winkley property, I was like, yes, I've got a chance of getting this property and going to get a view in. Well, we found out... There was three people with a wheelchair that don't know the area um, and things like that are bidding on it. So they got a chance and it's adapted for people with wheelchairs. Now I can be quite clumsy and things like that. Um, so my mum rang up, she spoke to the um, Torridge Council and they said there is a fair chance I could probably get it. 
there's still two more wheelchair people to have the choice of it but um what is this song i like this song guys sorry um so um they've still got to let them wheelchair people view it and if they don't i've got a chance because of my autism and the fact i need um a flat floor and an adaptable shower so i have to have a walk-in shower and things and it's in the middle of like my mom, my carers and things like that. So it's a good location and it's perfect for me. Um, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, and I mean fingers crossed that they call back and they tell me I've got a view in. I swear to God, I'll be so excited. Um, but the other good news is I've been told about the bidding situation is that from next week, another property goes up that's in Northern and Westwood Ho that I've got a fair chance and I'm going to get on it straight away and bid to get on there um, to get a fair chance of getting it but from the 1st of April guys they have to take the local connection barrier off to let other people into other areas and have a chance so from the 1st of April I've got a definite chance of getting out of here like I've been on a property and I've got a definite chance because I've got um, high on my banding and things like that now so Things cross soon, guys. I ain't gonna be here for much longer. So anyway, guys, um, I had a few sins today, um, but it makes up the three days. So basically, I had quite a few sins. Like I had three pieces of the day in cheesecake that I made at this point. Um, but it makes up for the three days. Um, I've not used sins. Um, I'm back on the diet. Um, and working towards getting my half a pound I lost. Um getting half a pound lost which was the week just got basically in the following um wednesday um at slimming mill it is now 9 p 9 p.m um i've not heard upstairs at all since being back yet on second thought and on, on a second movie cleaning up sorting stuff and um, ready to go back to my mom's on tuesday which is it was pretty short but i had to go back for slimming mill um about do you some of my surprise egg um then put the door in there but... oh basically if you don't know what a surprise egg is um it's an egg basically it's a balloon you paper mash over through the balloon you do like on these big ones you do like 12 layers of paper machine so i use wallpaper paste and um newspaper we can use whatever you use for paper machine um so um yeah so basically you do that and then once it's done and it's dry completely you paint a layer of white on it and then you do design on the outside of that but then you cut a hatch door in the back so you can put your hand in it and get stuff and things and drop stuff in i like this one um so that is what a surprise egg is guys um so um i was packing i cleaned up um i played on xbox and watched movies upstairs came in around 10 p.m stomping and banging talking um stopped around half 10 um, p.m at 11 18 p.m stomping to 11 23 p.m at 11 58 p.m stomping for 10 minutes so that was then 4th of march 2018 guys at um 41 minutes past midnight stomping at 1 8 a.m stomping 7 1 a.m still going on stomping at 4 8 a.m stomping 11 40 a.m got woke up by the washing machine nearly sounding like it was before at 6 p.m stomping and banging around for two hours around 9 p.m stomping for 30 minutes 11 30 p.m until 11 11 until 11 30 p.m stomping um today sleep catch up on sleep or being so ill so that day i was really ill um had dinner been watching greenhouse academy quite good guys it's on netflix if you want to watch that um 5th of march 2018 guys um at 1 38 a.m stomping 9 a.m to 
um, till 10 a.m. Bang, um, stomping, banging. Um, stayed up all night that night. Um, about to get changed. Um, cha get to get changed. Strip the bed and do the clothes. Wash it. Is currently. Um, it was currently 10:28 a.m. Um, I've been playing Fortnite. Got Pixie at 12. Um, at 12:56 p.m. Washing machine was going bad as before. Being post office. Um, <sighs> At 1.23 p.m., two times doing washing, um, I've done some cleaning, I played Xbox One Fortnite, played Tomballer, feel, fell asleep, got woke up at 11.32 p.m. to stomping, banging, and loud talking. So guys, we're up to the... <coughs> Sorry guys. 6th of March 2018. Let me just have a drink guys. I got woke up to stomping and banging and loud talking at 11am, got out of bed at 11.30am, now getting ready to go to my mom's, got Claire at 1pm, Claire's got here and got some, right, so Claire, basically because Claire was over this way, um, it wants to I got her to take me to Westwood Home in the car, um, and then when we was at Westwood Home, I got these stones, I'll show you guys in a minute, um, or two um so basically i got these stones and i don't know if i told you guys um you basically paint them the stones with white paint and then you do your design on them um which i'll show you guys them when i do them and let me just i like some um when i do them and i'll take pictures and show you guys um so and basically we got the stones off the beach and we put them in a car so at the moment i've currently nearly finished painting them um so basically i do my surprise egg um mache in, and then i go on to paint my stones so they've got these lines in where i've been painting them so i'm just going the other way with a brush now to get them out um then we went to the arcade um then we went for a meal um the moment I walked in, do people not understand? Like, the moment you walk in a restaurant, they also assist like that. You know, I like dog in here. Open your eyes. I'm sick to death of this. I'm sick to death of the questions of, you know, I like dog in here. And I'm sick to death of telling them, it's an assistant dog. Open your eyes. How many people, like, guys, if you own a restaurant or you live up somewhere else, I hope you guys take the opportunity to take this in because for people like autism like I've got um it really aggravates me and you probably don't understand this unless you know about autism and things um but in my mental mind it really aggravates me and gets to my head that every time I have to say she's an assistant dog why can't you just open your eyes and see that she's an assistant dog She's got a harness on that says assistant dog across it. What more do you want? So, run over guys. After that, we went for the meal. Uh, so you got asked that. Um, then we went to Bidiver where I got Claire, made sure we got on the bus okay. I got on the bus um, just past 5.25pm because it was running late. I got to my mum and then we, then we went to where my mum is. We watched TV and I went to bed. And 7th of March 2018, guys, I got up, I went to Slim World. That's this week, guys. I lost four pounds. So we've got my half a stone award. Um, like I said, we've got the deal with my mom that if I lose weight this week, we're going bingo. Um Then we went back, we got we rushed to get the bus. So me, my mom, and Rose we went on the bus and we went to Bingo Mecca Extra. No, I've never seen my right. When we were younger, my mom didn't drive, and um, she liked to drive when we were a bit older. Um, when I was like in my teens, I think. Um, I think she's been driving for like ten years or so now. I can't actually remember. Um, so, um, 
when my when we was younger, my mom had my best friend and my best friend's sisters. Um, we all got on the bus, and she had my brother and me. Um, and we used to just get the buses everywhere. And then my mom learned to drive, and we don't do that anymore. I've not seen my mom get on a bus for ages. Now, if we went to Birmingham and you asked my mom to get on a bus, she'd go and tell you to screw yourself. We don't like buses in Birmingham. They're busy, especially for someone like me. They're busy. People are like. If you look at someone in the wrong way, and I'm sorry if a Brummie watches this, but I'm from Birmingham myself, and you probably will understand. The society in Birmingham and most places in the country these days, Devon's pretty nice. Um, if you look at someone in the wrong way, if you look looking past them, and you've got to pass them, um, if you do something that someone doesn't like, or... Um, something, people are really pathetic, like I was on a bus one time heading back from college, I fell asleep because I hadn't slept for days um, and like I was heading back from college and this guy was basically getting off the bus and he turned his head and this other guy went what are you looking at? and he didn't even do nothing and then the guy that was queuing to get off the bus that had a kid and a girlfriend with him, um, the guy that was at the back and he just turned his head to look at his girl I think um he got down for the bus and he saw him smacking him in the head at the back of the head before he could get off the bus and they started having a fight in front of the bus and these girls got off the bus and like get your boyfriend off my boyfriend and the woman's like I've got a kid what do you want me to do but that's how bad society is these days like down here people give up seats they um they'd help you like the bus driver I got on the bus and he's like come back a minute and then wanting to straight rosebud it's like she was in a push at this point and like some people like when I'm on a bus I still like her to socialize and not be friend and because I don't like to anti-socialize her too much but it's still in the meantime when I'm if I was in a busy environment where I felt unsafe I um at that point I'd go no please, please not stroke her when I'm in food environments I'm in restaurants and um, when she's not having a play time and she has to work at that point um, cuz I had my mom with me as well I felt a bit okay about it um so and my mom's the whole time like carry on <laughs> and I made my girl for bus next to her she's like that her bus driver was hot and I'm like I'm your daughter you shouldn't be selling me this shit but it was funny um so basically um so yeah buses down here people are so much nicer they know each other they'll always help each other and things like that if you found on a pair of stairs down here um people get up to help you like that up in birmingham they just look at you like mm -hmm. don't expect to get stuck on a bus down here Stopping, you go upstairs you someone safe to sit upstairs in birmingham like it's unreal you just you have to come to devon to understand the atmosphere um the difference in buses in birmingham and buses down here and the safety everyone knows each other everyone's so friendly um like it's unreal I, i'm so glad i moved to devon like it's the best thing i ever took step in life um is moving down here um so um we went to bingo um my, my landlord um, admitted to saying basically he's not going to do my door. Um, my mum's like, he keeps trying to say there's some problem with the heat and there's nothing wrong with the heat and I'm sweating in here at night. I'm boiling hot right now um, but I can't open my door because I'm just trying to dry the last bit of my surprise eggs. Um, so it's absolutely hot in here, there's nothing wrong with the heat and it's just using it as an excuse. Um, my mum went, well, I'm keeping the rent and paying it towards getting the door fixed because it's the point now I have to put my hand in the letter box and whack it open or my hand on the letter box to whack it shut because it is that bad. Um, we've even had the fret through of, if I can find it. Here you go, guys. Right, the landlord on this earth planet should not be doing something like this. Um, for temporary reasons I'm going to cover up part of the thing because it's got my flat and things like that. So, um, 
let's just say, right, this page here, I'm going to do it like this so you guys can't see the addresses at the bottom. So, at the bottom, obviously, quickly, it just says paid there. Um, this is what he's trying to say. So, he's saying that his um, water is £494.92 p a month. Uh, this is stuff he shouldn't be sending me. Um, then he's got done the... Now, here's gets me electrical testing. They haven't electrical tested this place. They put down that they've completed that. They haven't done that properly because there's so many problems in this place. It's not electrical safe at all. Um, so, and he put paid on that bit. Um, oh, sorry, guys. And that was one thousand two hundred forty eight ninety eight um then he's got um that he's paid for um here's this right draining down fitting a new valve and radiator downstairs flat refill tested and bleeded he's put times two times two because now it's broke again yeah so he's got to do it again well excuse me You've not drained the system, you've not fitted a new valve, and he, the thing has not had to be refilled, tested, and bled the system. None of that has happened again, so that's a lie. Then this, £450 for fire doors, seal, plus installation. Well, what come out of his mouth, and what come out of them guys' mouth is, we're doing it as a favour because we owe him so no you haven't paid 450 pounds for the fucking fire doors and shit to be done and no way it'd cost you that much anyway they couldn't even do the job properly and according to this he pays 124.99 on gas and 47 pounds on electric a month there's no way um oh i like some guys um that you pay a hundred and twenty four fifty nine on gas with your electric, so basically your electric is forty seven um, a month, um, unless you've had some problems in the past, and that's what they're doing extra billing you. So that's nothing to do with me, and it's your fault, Mister Matt, um, landlord. And um, then he basically he's complaining. He, uh, I can show you this because it hasn't got no address on there. Um, but he's complaining here about this is how he's been writing um about how he's got over planned on over gone over his unplanned overdraft is not our fault um so basically for the first time ever my mom's gone i'm not paying you this is why he's being like this well i'm not being funny it's gotten to a point where i can't get in and out um so he put every time you are late adds to the first of the next month although you play on time in february this charges for when you were late in january as shown there's always a month late but then you are late again and so on if you were on time this would never happen january um basically january um my mom paid like a day later because um a lot was going on and the reason she also paid a day later was because that date landed on the point where it was a Monday was classed as a sixth or something. Um, so basically nothing would have gone out of his bank anyway. But he's stating that all his bills don't go out to the 8th of February anyway. So um, it wouldn't have mattered. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the end of that little thing. Um... But he shouldn't be sending shit like that. So tomorrow I'm thinking about going to the council, probably getting the police involved and feeling I feel harassed because I do pretty much feel harassed. Um, he's constantly going on my mom, threatening my mom, giving violence over the text messages to my mom because now he can't give it to me. Um, he's also given dropping stuff by my door now um, and things like that, harassment. So I'm thinking of going to the police tomorrow to get um, an harassment on him. So he can't send anything or do anything anymore. My mom currently, as far as I know, still hasn't paid this month's rent. But this is due to the fact she's thinking about, like, she hasn't touched that bit of money. It's just sitting there and um, getting the door fixed with it. And basically, he stated, you will not touch the door or get it repaired. Because basically, he's going to do it in his own time. Like, he always does everything. Um, so, yeah. Um... 
um, we had um, that day we had a Chinese as a treat. That oh, by the way, guys, this has come to the door today on Sunday. Um, we had a Chinese as a treat. We watched TV and went to bed. Then on, um, then we're gonna stop it there because it's quite long again, guys. Um. So we're gonna do part two and part three, guys. So this um we're ending on the seventh of March, two thousand eighteen, guys. I see you in part three. Sorry it's been so late. Sorry it's so long, guys. See you in part three.